this module, we will be demonstrating the initial install process for the Reliance panel. First up, we have the enclosure. Note that for standard installations, the enclosure cover opens from the top and drops down to the bottom as demonstrated. Inside the enclosure, you will notice a slot at the top and bottom. This is where you will install your Reliance panel. On the Reliance panel, please take note of the power strip. You will be inserting it into an enclosure slot with this power strip facing towards you. To install the panel, you will need to align it with the top and bottom slots and slide it in. That's all there is to it. Next up, we will install the antennas. The antenna is required in order to use wireless detectors, peripherals and key fobs. The panel comes with two antennas, a front and a wall antenna. On the top of the enclosure, there will be two external slots for the antenna. You will insert the antenna labelled front at the front slot and the antenna labelled wall in the back slot. Next we will connect power to the panel. For that we will need a 16 volt AC power adapter. You'll note that there are three wires coming out of the AC power adapter. Red for active, white for neutral, and a yellow and green for earth. On the panel, there's an earth connector and two AC connectors. You'll need a tool to connect and secure the wires to the panel. You will need to connect the yellow and green wire to the earth connector. And the red and white to the AC connectors. For the AC, it doesn't matter where you connect your active or neutral wire. After we've made sure everything is connected correctly and secured, we can connect the power adapter and power it on. If you see your panel LEDs light up, that means that you've done it all correctly. You may notice there are two wires, a black and red, coming out of your panel. These wires are for connecting your panel to a battery. A battery is essential to keep your system up and running in the event of a power failure. You'll need a 12 volt battery of your chosen size. The bigger it is, the longer it will be able to support your panel during a blackout. All you need to do is connect the red, which is the positive, to the battery positive, and the black, which is the negative, to the battery's negative. It is recommended to change your battery on your alarm system once every three to four years. 